weird girl in a closet. Weird girl in a closet. Weird girl in the closet. Um. Welcome to my closet. Why am I in my closet, you ask? I don't know. This is what I do at night. And I ask the camera weird questions like, um, do you have the car facts to your car? Do you know the Muffin Man? Who is Plies referring to in his song? The little girl that he met in his hood that he brags on every chance that he could? Where's Waldo? Is the square root of 69 really eight something? Meh. Mwah mwah. Eh. Nah. <laughs> this is my boyfriend. You know, I don't have a boyfriend, so what I do is come in here and pretend that inanimate objects are boys that love me. And when I put this on, it loves me. It it feels all over my body. It's it's beautiful. I love it when it loves me. Sorry, special moment with my blazer there. Sorry. Do I have any more? This is my boyfriend. Um. These are my husband. And um. This is the pool boy that I occasionally give kisses. Another MC spits up universe I try to get through my day without saying a curse Because I curse too much and such and such I try to improve my vocabulary I try to cut out eat in me and there I want to bring back the days of the tooth fairy Cause I lost my innocence I'm young and dumb and old and wise at the same time Cause I know Jesus was a rock star And it was Elvis who turned water into wine I want to save a kangaroo from a life in a zoo I want to own a llama I want less trauma in my life for tuning in to episode two of the Kyle show I just want to say thank you to everyone who came to my watch party everyone who watched episode one and everyone who gave me feedback on the show it's it's truly beautiful to have all these people giving me all this positive feedback on this show I was so nervous to release the show so nervous to actually start but this is how you build a career this is how you follow your dreams by going out and pursuing what you want no matter how hard it is no matter how taunting it is no matter how scared you are to do it, you do it, and um, that's why I just want to tell people, um, follow your dream. If you have a dream, then I want you to follow it. Start something now. If you want to start a magazine, then start working on it now. If you want to start a rap career, then make a mixtape now. Follow your dream and do, just do something because that's how you begin. Um, ever since I started The Kyle Show, I mean only two weeks ago, um, I just feel like my life is so much more productive now. Um, I pay attention so much more in class now because I don't want to have my grades fall because I started the show. So now I feel the need to pay attention to class, to take good notes, to actually study. Um, at work, I'm way more productive because I know that if I lose my job, then I have no way to fund things for the Kyle Show. So just following your dream makes you more productive in your everyday life. And I just want everyone to follow their dream and because it is a beautiful thing. Um, I never imagined in a million years that the amount of feedback that I got is what I would have got when um when I decided to start the show I was really nervous um who's going to watch what are people going to say and I just I'm happy that you guys appreciate my weirdness um these sketches they come from my head like I come up with these sketches and I write them down and I do them and I'm glad that you guys enjoy them I'm really happy that everyone tuned in and it means so much to me and I want you all to follow your dream be artist of the week um let me know what you decide to do, what you do this week to pursue your dream. Everyone needs to pursue their dream, no matter how crazy, no matter how wild. I think you can do it. Everyone can do it. I'm happy you guys tuned in to the Kyle Show episode two. I really appreciate everybody. Thank you so much. I don't want to be anything other than what I've been trying to be lately. Hey, welcome to the club, once you heal or die. So for today, we have a letter from Vicky in Virginia, and Vicky's letter says, I just recently started watching One Tree Hill, and so far it's wonderful. But my brother's girlfriend tells me that as the seasons goes on, it gets boring and the storyline gets pointless. Please tell me this isn't true. 
One Tree Hill gets boring. Does your brother's girlfriend forget about the fact that Nathan and Lucas are brothers and their father Dan only claims Nathan? And he also killed his own brother Keith because he thought that Keith tried to kill him. And he killed Keith in a time when him and Nathan's mom Karen had finally decided they're going to be together after 18 years. 18 long years they finally decided that no matter what people thought, they didn't care anymore. It was time for them to love each other and they were engaged. And then we later find out that Karen's pregnant with Lily and now Lily doesn't have a dad because Dan killed him. And this is when I first start hitting Dan. And and tell your brother's girlfriend she doesn't deserve to hear children giggle or see sunflowers bloom in the springtime if she thinks that One Tree Hill is boring. One Tree Hill is the most beautifully well-written TV show in the entire world. You find yourself rooting for Peyton and Lucas even though you know it's breaking Brooke's heart. And then you love Dan, then you hate him, then you love Dan, then you hate him, then you love Dan. And then Dan dies, and then there's Jamie, but uh, he's so cute, he's so smart, but what else did we expect coming from Naley? Nathan and Haley, oh, they're the cutest couple in the world. But then there's a time that I thought they are going to break up, and I was like, if they break up, I'm not going to watch this anymore. But then I was like, yeah, right, I'm going to watch One Tree Hill if they keep making episodes. I'm going to watch. So how about making a season 10? Okay, um... And Haley, why did you kiss Chris? If I had the chance to choose between Chris and Nathan, I would choose Nathan every single time. But it's okay, Haley. You're young. You're experimenting. It's cool. But you guys are back together now. You guys are the cutest couple in the world. And I just, I love you guys. I love Jamie. And I love One Tree Hill. And for your brother's girlfriend to say that One Tree Hill is boring, she doesn't deserve to have a boyfriend. So tell your brother after the show, you know, um, I'll call you guys. And if that doesn't work, he can send me an email. And I'll give him my Twitter link as well as my Facebook. Because, you know, I love One Tree Hill. And if you love One Tree Hill, he loves One Tree Hill. Buy jeans. And, okay, I'll stop talking now. I'm sorry. Today I just want to talk about voting. Um, I know that I personally did not even follow this campaign until two weeks ago when um, I came home and my friend was watching the Democratic National Commission. And it's bad that not until that day I didn't even, not that I didn't care, but I just, I wasn't into politics, I guess. But from watching it, I realized that I need to care because we all need to vote. This generation is the generation that I think can change the world. Um, depending on who wins the presidency, um, we can either be stopped on our track to success um, by losing our Pell Grants, by losing our scholarships, or we can continue on to our road to success, to becoming those successful doctors and lawyers and talk show hosts. And um, I think it's important that we realize that we are young, but our vote still means something. And it's this generation, this age group, this age bracket that will help determine the winner of this election. So I, I'm not saying who you need to vote for, but I'm just saying you need to vote. Be registered to vote. Um, know what every politician stands for. Know the policies that they're going to enforce. Learn about the campaign and see who you think is most fit to run our country and vote for them especially as minorities. We didn't always have the right to vote and for you not to use that right, I feel it's, it's a slap in the face of the people who fought so hard for us to get the right to vote. This is actually going to be the first time I'm actually able to vote and I'm really excited. Um, I actually just registered to vote uh, maybe like three weeks ago and even though when I registered to vote I didn't know that much about the, um, the campaign, now I, I'm learning a little bit more. I don't know everything I'm learning and um, I think it's important that people not just vote, but to actually know who they're voting for, why they're voting for them, and what policies are going to be into place when they vote for them. Um, this generation truly is going to change the world, and I feel that way. And just make sure you vote. Doesn't matter who you vote for, vote and make sure that your voice is heard.